Right. The first system we've got here is a Q Warrior system, which has been designed for uh, use by forward air controllers, artillery plotters, and other people who benefit from situational awareness information. Uh, it works using a holographic waveguide which allows uh, video imagery and still imagery and it, information from a network to be displayed in the operator's line of sight. As you can see it's installed on a standard uh, helmet mount here. And this particular version is also showing uh, a low light camera working infrared. There is a small built in camera as well. The system displays the information in this area directly in front of the operator's eye and with this particular installation we're taking an analogue signal and converting it to digital. This is optimised for digital use and will display any digital information so even live streaming video can be displayed directly in front of the operator's eye. It will also work in cooperation with a battlefield computer which can be pouch mounted on the body. Uh, batteries can also be mounted either on the back of the helmet or can be mounted elsewhere on the body and fed through the system. So power can be shared also with other uh, pieces of equipment that are in service. This is the latest version of the Striker helmet from BAE Systems. This version is designed for use by fa in fast jets. Uh, it provides the pilot with uh, information projected on the inside of the visor. It projects into both eyes and gives binocular uh, layout of information. The system also has a camera in the front for uh, infrared and night use. So it uh, can be used in daytime and nighttime. The oxygen supply and communications is uh, within the mask area. And interestingly, you see the lumps on the back of the helmet are actually light emitting diodes. And these are part of the head tracking system, which allows the aircraft to know where the pilot is looking all the time with a very high degree of accuracy. This allows the aircraft systems to follow the pilot's line of sight rather than just the direction of travel of the aircraft. It allows you to designate targets or designate uh, soldiers on the ground. In a rescue scenario, you can designate where a life raft has been seen in the water. Uh, and the systems will look at where the pilot was looking through the head tracking system. Uh, it allows you to do off-bore off site work, so missiles and bombs can actually be launched away from the direction of travel if necessary, which makes the aircraft much safer and also increases the chance of a first strike on target.